Okay, hello and welcome back to Blitzkid Gaming and once again we are playing the forest. Uh, as you can see, I built a bit of the wall, thought I'd save you a little bit of time, but I didn't want to leave out the whole process. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, didn't take me that long to build up that bit of the wall, so I'm going to go all the way around there. Draw down some trees, get them passades up, and then eventually I'll go around that wall again. Uh, might do that one off screen. Um, <clears throat> and that will stop any enemies from jumping over. I'm going to build myself a, a log cabin, actually. Uh... Yeah, I'm only going to build myself a basic lab cabin on this, because you don't need much else. Uh, there's not a whole lot you do actually need, but if I have a log cabin here... Oh, well, actually. Because all having a big building does is build up space, although like it takes up space. Uh, whereas if I have a log cabin there, I can have um, some like... I don't know, stick holders there, some rock holders there, some lug holders there. Could have food racks around this bit here. Um, water sources over there somewhere maybe, I don't know. But if I had a big building, then I'd have less room for the water holders. I'd have like drying racks and all that stuff inside. Uh, a lug cabin on the other hand, if I put that out there. Let's just put it, put, put it there for now hit the wrong button so here I could have like two medicine cabinets there maybe one uh, here across there uh, I could have a dynamite holder here um, yeah basically so uh, you can still fit quite a bit in that but having a big base would take up most of this area here I don't know, actually I don't know. let's have a look I need to get a floor because it would take a hell of a lot longer uh, Foundation, platform, I think it's foundation, yeah. Right, so if I have it, say, across here like that, oh wait, no. Have it like that, across there. Like that. Over here. that that's a lot of logs and it takes up a lot of space I mean yeah I could make that smaller but uh, let's have a look what else could we do with it and in my opinion it doesn't look as good like connected like that that's that's an odd shape for a building. It's got like a lot of wasted room here. I couldn't put much in that area there. It'd just be a waste of space with the shape of the wall. But I could make it rectangular and have stuff around here. Let's have a look. There's a thing. There you go, yeah, I could put that like that. But I think that's... How does that compare to a log cabin? Okay, yeah, it's a bit bigger. Just just, just a little bit. It's like, what? Three quarters of the size? Well, an extra three quarters of the size of something? I don't know. But it also takes up a lot more... I don't know. Well... Then again, I've also got to put the walls and stuff down. I need food and drink. Wait, where's my fire gun? Oh, poo. Uh, eat that and that. Hang that out to dry. Bottom tish. Uh, 
get that. I did actually catch a Bambi. Uh, I finally found a deer. For some reason, on this save, I'm finding no deers. Like, <clears throat> I'm over save. I've got, like, more deer skins I don't know what to do with. I literally can't build anything else with deer skin. It's useless. I mean, you can always build stuff with rabbit skin, but deer skin is, uh, what's it? But on this, I can't find a single deer that I need so I can build the water skin. Oi. Jesus Christ. Yep, I'm an idiot, guys. I'm an idiot. Oh, God. Also, we had some uh, big rainfall. So now I've got water. Uh, right, that's what I was doing. Uh, so I've got buildings. I need custom walls. So I need to... I need to actually build that first. Okay. So, yeah, I'll leave that for now. Like that. Uh, I will start building the walls up. So, now you get to see why I have two of these. Let's look down this way. Timber. I don't know why I did that because I'm building up rocks. I need rocks first. So, uh, <gasps> yeah, beautiful snapper get. Damn it. it wasn't far off. There we go. <clears throat> I'm not going to break myself with that because it's a little bit off distance wise, but still a cracking shot. So that's what I needed. Now I've got more meats as well. Damn it. Ha! <clears throat> Went all primal hunter on that. And the banana. So not just kin sense to see. I mean, I may not have room for the meat at the moment, but I will be soon. Uh, but you always need the skin for something like well, at least in the beginning you need skin for everything. <sighs> Mister Bernat's whisker. Yeet! Bambi's mom's got nothing going on. <laughs> right, so that was my hunting prowess. Hope you're impressed. I am. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, been productive so far. Like I was playing this for about, what, half an hour? I've just uh, sent my other videos on to upload. And uh, like I was painting for about half an hour before I turned it on, and I couldn't find a sing single deer. Oh, you know what? God damn it, that's so stuck in my head all day now. All day with this. I like how just getting a single deer is enough to practically fill up one of those things. I don't know what that was then. I thought it was an armadillo. I was like, wait, what? I don't know if you understood a word of that. I said, I don't know what I f was wondering what that rock was then. I thought it might have been an armadillo, but I was, there's no armadillos in this game. I was only deer skin for. Spear bag, which I need. Okay, yeah, I won't be needing deer skin for a while now. 
lizard skin, one rabbit thing. What else do I need rabbits for? I need small pouch, fur boots, stick bag. Ooh. That is useful. That means I can carry twice as many sticks. I won't get any more Bambies right now because uh, I really don't need anything. Have fun. Which I find funny because a minute ago I, well, would have killed for a deer, but. <laughs> funny joke. I'm going to eat you. I can go in there. <laughs> He's the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, a uh, good thing about this game is whenever you uh, sleep, 10% of the trees you cut down grow back. Which I suppose in a way means that no matter what you do, there's always going to be a tree missing, no matter how often you sleep. Technically speaking. Mathematically speaking. Now you're thinking, this is a bit redundant, putting them there when you can just put them on the wall. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. So if that just triggered someone's OCD, me starting another war when I haven't finished that one. But accidents happen. Right then, I'm ignoring that one. It's pain about to get to. Meow. So yeah, when you're running with that, you gotta be careful when going over berry bushes, because uh, yeah, it can actually break them down, and you don't want to break berry bushes down. They're useful. I can't carry any more rocks. Handy. Yeah, yeah, you're out of breath. No need to moan about it. <laughs> oh, well, we're getting out of breath after running for a few minutes. Me not being able to run for five seconds. <laughs> but you can see, like, well, I don't know if you can actually tell the difference, but there's a bit of difference between how long I can run now and from when I can run in the beginning of the game. And my athleticism's gone up 1.7, which is. Very minute, I'm over save, my strength is up by 50. And my athleticism is up by, I think it's at least 30. And that's on hard. Which means that, yeah, enemies are stronger, it's hard to survive, you need more food. I think. And then you have to watch out for calories as well. If you eat too many calories and don't burn it off, then you can get fat. I'm just going to get three more rocks and then I'm going to wheel them back. God damn it. Yeah, now for the long repetitive task. But yeah, um I don't know if you guys will want me to uh to carry on showing these bits, um this sort of building part. I figured that you know, if if I'm not showing you building, then there's not much else of the game I can show you. There's the fighting parts, but having just repetitive combat and no downtime between it would just get boring for you. Um it's one of them things, like, you don't know if, if it's a good thing or a bad thing to show the mundane minute of the game. Like, the, the bits that aren't really important or the bits that aren't, you know, the most exciting. I find that downtime between action makes the action better and constant action is, um, 
it's it's boring, it's repetitive, it's it kills it a bit. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I've always found like these uh I watched several series in the past where it's been non stop action all the way through and it's always up in the stakes for it. And I get tired of it, I'm like well, you know, what what's the point? Like, you know, if the hero is supposed to be that much stronger, then why is there always someone stronger? And why does it always have to be a threat? And why is the threat always so stupid? I'm going to destroy the planet. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a weirdo. I mean, there's no maybe there. Ask my friends. They know. If you know, you know. No. So yeah, I'll just uh, finish up this S wall and then I think I need one more for that one. Yay! And with that, I'm going to call this episode quits. Uh, I will do the rest of this wall um, without video. And then I will come back to it when I'm building the Palisades. And then we will start building the house together. And uh, yeah, so if you like the video, feel free to leave a like. And thanks for watching. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, uh, be good, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, ciao meow.